like what the quarter mile time would be on our GTI. And I did it and I wasn't that impressed. If you ask me, I think this, this car is amazing for it being a front wheel drive, 100% stock, no modifications at all. Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to attempt to find out just how fast is a FL5 Honda Civic Type R in a quarter mile. Now I, <laughs> I, I this kind of came about as a whim because you know I wanted to test out our race box here and I did a, a zero I did, I did a couple zero to 60 tests on both vehicles and then I wanted to see like what the quarter mile time would be on our GTI. And I did it and I wasn't that impressed. It kept on like bogging in first and I think I even got it to like bog a little bit in second so yeah that's something that I'd have to work out eventually but it made me curious I was like I think level I'll go to the history here let's see so let's go drag and okay so let's look on a quarter mile run I did a 1491 and uh yeah and a 1484 so i think a 1484 was probably the best i got let me see da, 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 da. no actually the best time i got was a 1457 yeah so i got a 1457 it shows you right there there in the history if you guys can see it so i got a 14.57 quarter mile time in the gti and i'm thinking I can do way better, um, sorry, I'm thinking I can do way better with the Type R. So I'm going to go take it out and see, and we'll see, you know, how it does. Like it's, they're both front wheel drive cars, so I don't expect them to put down stellar times, but for you guys that wanted to know, you, you know, this video will basically tell you just how fast these things are in a quarter mile, and it's race box approved, one of the best, like, it's a GPS timer. It's one of the most accurate that you that you can have. Most of the big channels use these because it's super super accurate. And obviously, if you if you guys would like to pick one up for yourself, you can go to the Racebot website. It's in the link uh, down below in the description. And if you want to save some money on it, you can use our discount code RACECARFRIENDS15. Just type that in as a discount code. It'll save you 15%. And you know, most places only give you like 10% or stuff like that. We're hitting you with the 15. So if you want to save some money, use race car fence 15, get you your race box and you can test your own vehicles and see just how fast they are. But without further ado, let's take it out. Let's see how fast this thing really is. All right, getting our race box set up. Let me uh, put this into R mode. Uh, turn on traction control all right so we're gonna go drag meter distance all right let's see how this goes give this another try so I think we got a 14.44 in the first run let's see how we do in the second run let's see what we get here Like crazy. So let's see how. 
how we do when we don't spin. <laughs> so yeah, we gotta, we gotta try that. Man, it's crazy. So 14 point, I think 5.4 was what the best we got in the GTI. And now 14.44 is the best we've got so far in the Type R. And I think we can do better. Just gotta, just gotta get the launch right. So let's see what we got here. Oh, okay, no, my bad. All right. Let's see. And mind you, this is the worst time to do this. I'm doing this when it's like hot out, you know? Temperature, uh, it's not great, but yeah, it's really hot outside. So I'm sure it's heat soaking already. I can hear the fans. But yeah, let's give it a shot. One more, see if I can get it better than that 14.43. All right, so let me go ahead and put it back in R mode. All right, traction control off. Let me see. All right, so I think that should do it there. All right, let's wait for this thing to get all the way up. All right. Distance, all right, let's see how this goes. one and that's it that's it last one <laughs> and then then I'll tell you I, and I know it's heat soaking so the times shouldn't get better I'm just gonna try a better launch I'm pretty sure if I could launch it better I can get a slightly better time so let's see all right and that one's at oh 107 miles per hour so that's pretty good all right let's see faster that time we got a little bit faster that time nice 14.24 all right i'll take it i'll take it so close to the 13 second range with 14.24 and yeah wow and i and i let off early i'm pretty sure if i would have like kept going the mile an hour would have been higher but yeah that was pretty awesome man i should have stayed in it but 14.24 could have been faster if i would have not let off when i did but yeah, that, that's pretty awesome. So let me go tell, give you my thoughts on this. Let me park and, and get everything, get my thoughts together and tell you what I think about this. All right, so if you ask me, I think this, this car is amazing for it being a front wheel drive, 100% stock, no modifications at all. Out the box did 14.2 uh, something, you know, quarter mile. I think that is absolutely amazing. But I want you guys to comment below and let me know what you think. And also, shout out to the whole MLC. Shout out to Q to Chaotic, Blueprint 1 Elite, 100 Gang Nate. Also, shout out to uh, Will Motivation. Now, I challenge all of you guys to go out and get you a race box or, or another uh, good timing device that you could depend on. And I want you guys to tell me what the quarter mile time is on your 
I, you know, okay, so for Nate, it's going to be the Honda Civic Type R. For Q, it's going to be his Acura Integra Type S, uh, as well as his uh, Mazda Miata. Like, I want to see the quarter mile time on that. For Will, it's going to be his new Porsche 911 uh, Carrera T. I want to see the quarter mile time on that. I think all of those are going to be very, very interesting. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be fun to see what, what you guys get. But yeah, man, I really enjoyed making this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. And with that, race car friends out. All right, so it's even hotter than it was before. And uh, I'm gonna try this again. Let's see. See how this goes. some mistakes on that one so let's see here we go man it's hot and this road is dusty but let's see So that one, we did a 14.02, almost a 13, almost a 13 run. But yeah, I would say the Type R is definitely capable of a 13.9 run. I just did a 14, you know, 0.02. So really almost there. Let's see. And I can feel the, the fans and everything going on, so I know the car is probably heat soaking. All right, let's give it one last run. That would have been the one like it just wouldn't go in the fourth like not going in the fourth and it still did 14.84 that's crazy all right let's try it one last time i know this is going to be worse now because of the heat but let's just give it a shot As I go by, I can see all the dust and everything. Uh, yeah, I think that's that 14.0 is the best I'll be able to get. But man, that that still says a lot. 
you know, for how capable this is, is you know, 14.0 is essentially a 13.99, but gonna try it one last time. I know Race Car 21 is probably looking at this and laughing. He's like, one last time. <laughs> oh man, this road is so dusty though. Like, let's see. Let's see how we do on the last one. Let's see now. conditions with like better a better grippier surface rather than this dusty surface plus you know uh, cool attempts I'm sure this car can do like 13 9 13 8 easily like it's just you know the conditions that we got here but that was actually pretty awesome man so hope you guys enjoyed this one race car friends out Yeah, yeah, I see you've been uploading again. Oh, yeah. 